Don't you die on me, damn it! He be dropping! Interbase. Now! Cardiac arrest is in BFIB! Clear! No response. Hit him again! Clear! How's he doing? Well, he's stabilized. But it took too long. He's in a coma. What about him? He, uh, took some shrapnel. To the head. Sam. V has come to. V has come to. Who is me?
A kuj z me? Can you hear me? Are you having difficulty speaking? Can you move your head? Just nod if you can hear me. Look up. Please. <laughs> Very good. Please try to relax. There is plenty of time. I need to tell you something. Please listen and try not to panic. You've been in a coma for quite some time. Yes, yes, I know. You would like to know how long. I'm afraid it's been... nine years. Damn it! Nurse! Calm down! Calm down! Try not to panic! Try not to panic! Now. You'll be all right. Just rest. How do you feel? It's been one week since you came too. Now, let's try getting you out of that bed. Nurse. Don't worry. You've lost some strength, but we've been maintaining your muscle mass through massages, CPM therapy, and EMS. Now, I need to explain something to you, but you mustn't be alive. Nine years ago, you were injured in an explosion. Upon examination, we discovered 108 foreign bodies embedded within you. In addition to shrapnel, we also found fragments of human bone and human teeth. Most of it was removed, but some of the fragments still remain. They are located near your heart and in your skull. Look at this. The fragments are lodged deep within your cerebral cortex. We couldn't give you an MRI, the metal you see. But even if we were to extract it, you would most likely suffer a brain hemorrhage. Mental and physical impairment are unavoidable. However, your current status is not life-threatening. One more thing. This X-ray is of your upper body. You better look now. Best to understand your situation sooner than later. I know it's difficult, but please look down. It's best to see with your own eyes. Be brave.
Κάποιος ήδη γνωρίζει ότι έχει ξυπνήσει. Ότι αν τρέχει μεγάλο κύμα, πρέπει να ενεργήσουμε άμεσα. Προετοιμάστε τον για εγχείρηση. Δεν το πιστεύω. It's true. There are those who wish you would never woken up. You should be dead, but you are not. The wheels are in motion. Your enemies are everywhere. We must alter your appearance immediately. Otherwise, I fear you won't leave this place alive. It's a wide open world out there, so there's something we need to take care of first. This is you, as you've lived until this day. I'm going to change your appearance. We have no other choice. Very good. Now, let's remove these bandages. Hmm, your face has healed nicely. To tell you the truth, these bandages were more for your protection. To hide you from those who want you dead. As of today, your name is Ahab. Forget everything. Your name, your past. Everything feels all right.
Okay, have time to go. What, what, what happened to the woman? The woman? I... We gave her a light. She took the short way down. Who are you? Who am I? You're talking to yourself. Been watching over you for nine years. You can call me Ishmael. What the hell is going on? Well, the good news is, you're in the land of the living. Bad news? A world wants you to On your feet, soldier. The whole place is coming down. Need a little pick-me-up? Okay. Here. No! Nothing like a little digoxin to get you back in the game. Come on! Eh bien, salut les vilains, on se retrouve donc comme promis pour ce let's play sur Metal Gear Solid 5. Et évidemment, je plaisante, hein, on est bien sur la fin, sur l'ultime révélation de ce The Phantom Pain. Comme vous avez pu le constater, on n'est pas Big Boss, on est nous-mêmes et on a été, euh, notre visage a été modifié pour ressembler à celui de, de Big Boss. Et beaucoup d'autres révélations euh, sont à venir en rejouant ce premier chapitre du jeu. Ah! 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 Ah!
this way, boss. Hurry. Use that bike. It's tuned up and ready to go. I'll handle the rest. Here. That's your name as of today. Best change your face to this one. He'll take your place. From here on, he's Snake. He believes it too. My very own Phantom, huh? <laughs> Boss, the whole world wants your head. Don't worry, he can handle it. Move now. Quickly. Aren't you forgetting something? We'll meet again. Right.
anesthetic. We have to open her now. Do you remember who you are, what you were meant to do? I cheated death thanks to you. And thanks to you, I've left my mark. You have to. You've written your own history. You're your own man. I'm Big Boss. And you are too. No. He's the two of us together. Where we are today, we built it. This story, this legend, it's ours. We can change the world and with it the future. I am you and you are me. Carry that with you wherever you go. Thank you, my friend. From here on out, you're a big boss. les amis c'est c'est fou voilà on vient de finir moi j'ai envie de dire toute la saga Metal Gear Solid hein. on ne peut pas avoir meilleure conclusion on fera certainement les deux premiers Metal Gear bien plus tard vous savez ceux qui sont en 2D euh, pixelisés pour euh, et bien tout simplement pour vous faire connaître le fin mot l'histoire de ce deuxième Big Boss en tout cas, nous, on va se laisser ici. Je vais vous laisser le générique et ce qui s'en en suivra, s'il y a des choses qui vont s'en suivre. Et sur ce, je n'ai plus mis sa chose à vous dire à tout le monde. Tchuss et à un prochain let's play.
What was it all for? If the boss has some plan, what is it? The real big boss is working separately from us to create his new nation. New nation? A military nation above and apart from all. The true outer heaven. Something created to maintain world balance. Independent of the struggles for supremacy, for personal profit, the cycles of revenge between countries. It'll be an army, all right. But more. Big Boss is building a nation. But, until it's complete, we support the other Big Boss. The Phantom carries on his legend, his meme. That is Big Boss's plan. So that's the way it is. Nine years ago, I thought everything had been taken from me. But now I really have lost it all. The boss, and the future we were building together. One day, the age of Big Boss's sons will arrive. They'll likely want to settle the score with him. We have to shape that age. We'll each have roles to play. Building the foundation for a revolution led by both Big Bosses, the True One and the Phantom. No. Big Boss can go to hell. I'll make the Phantom and his son stronger to send him there. For that, I'll keep playing my role. <laughs> you know... Sooner or later, there'll be only one boss. There's only room for one boss. His sons are fated to face each other someday, too. If the day ever comes that you go back to Cypher, I'll aid the other son. And then you and I will be enemies, too. One of us will have to kill the other. Fine by me. I'll be ready for the new age. Until then, we'd better get used to coexisting.